So we're now recording um, and I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so the first step, and I'll let people in if they, if, if any latecomers come in also. So the first step on our read squared portal. So I'm going to, oh, we're getting, of course, more people are coming right as I start. Um, okay, so our first step is to sign up using your, on this website, it's sppl.readsquared.com. And I'm going to put it in the chat and I recommend that you bookmark it or save it um, so that you can easily access it. You can also find it if you go to our website and you click summer reading, that big banner right there, it will take you to a page that has all of the information that I'm gonna share with you today. Um, but to get to the portal, you're gonna click or tap here to log in to Read Squared. This is the site that we're gonna be using for most of our summer reading program. Um, so it's this website, oh, sorry. It is this website right here, STP, sppl.readsquared.com. And again, I'm gonna put it in the chat for those of you who are That is the first step to go to that web page to register. Once you are here, if you have never signed up or used Read Squared in the past, like you've not, if you used it last year, you're gonna have a different process. If you have never used this website before, you are going to click register right up here in the corner. And it will say, who would you like to register? My child, that's if you have one child, you're gonna click my child only, or my family, that's if you have multiple children that you would like to enroll. Um, so depending on how many children you have, you're going to either select my child only, or if you have more than one child that you'd like to enter, click my family. So let's do this. Let's click my family. Let's suppose I have multiple children. It's going to say, how old are you? That is going to refer to the child. How old is your child that you are registering? You pick from their age group. Anyone can join summer reading, the tiniest of babies to children up to the age of 18, up to teenagers. So let's say I have a three-year-old. I'm gonna click three and click continue. I'm gonna put the child's name. Um, let's make up a name. Um, name right here. And then you're gonna put your email address that you would like to be contacted at for email. It's going to ask you for a school. If they are young, you can put preschool. Um, we have all of the South Plainfield schools listed. Um, if you are not a South Plainfield resident, that's completely okay. Just click other. But if you are a South Plainfield resident, click the school that your child is going into in the fall. And school grade also refers to what they will be entering in the fall. So let's say preschool for this case. It will ask you for a username. So just create something that you know you will remember. Um, I'm going to go with just that, my, my, my first, you know, no, no characters, nothing crazy, just simple username that you will remember. And it's also gonna ask you to create a password. So I'm gonna create a password for my account. It will then ask you if you would like to receive book recommendations emailed to you um, based on what your child is reading. If you don't want those recommendations, you just click no, I don't want them. If you do want book recommendations, it'll ask you what age is your child, what are they interested in, animals, you know, adventure, princesses, a whole slew of choices where you can get customized recommendations sent to you. Whether or not you want them is completely up to you. So I'm going to say no, I don't want book recommendations, and I'm going to click continue. It's then going to ask me about my other child um, because I clicked multiple children. So how old is this new child? Let's say they are seven years old. I'm gonna go with seven and I'll tell you why. I'm gonna click continue. And it will tell you that we have multiple programs for your child to enroll in. Now, if your child is between the ages of zero and six, they will automatically be entered into our picture book program. Our picture book pro program refers to a child that is young enough to be read to. If they are over the age of nine, 
they will be automatically registered in our chapter book program, which basically means they are an independent reader and can read on their own. If your child is in that like middle stage between seven or eight, and you know they're kind of getting a little bit of both, you can pick which one you would prefer them to be enrolled in. So since I said I had a seven-year-old, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say they're reading chapter books and I'm gonna click chapter books and then click continued. It's gonna ask me for the same information about the, this, the information for this child. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say their name. I'm gonna, it's gonna save your email from before. It's gonna ask for their school. I'm gonna say that they're in Riley and that they're in second grade. They're, what they're going into in the fall. You don't need to recreate your username and password because they are linked. So once you put it in for the first child, you do not need to repeat that for the second. It will also ask if you'd like book recommendations. Um, I'm gonna say, no, I don't want book recommendations. And then I'm gonna hit continue. Um, it's gonna say, it's gonna, it's gonna, um, and let's say I have a third child. I'm gonna put my 11 year old child in. I'm gonna say their name is Eve. Um, again, the same process, the same steps. They are in the middle school, we'll click middle school for this one. Um, and then we're gonna click their grade. They're in eighth, they're in seventh grade, right? Okay. Um, now it'll say, are you done at, you, same here, same for recommendations, don't want recommendations. So if you have more ch children, click continue. If you are done adding children, click done adding readers. You put all your children in, congratulations. You are now enrolled in summer reading. Your Bob, the child Bob that was three is in the picture book program. And here is their login page. And you are completely enrolled. All of your children are enrolled. Um, does anyone have questions about the enrollment process? For those, um, for those of you who've used Read Squared in the past, I'll show you how to update your existing credentials. But I just want to make sure everybody is okay with this onboarding process of putting the child's information in. Um, we also have a user guide on our website with all of these steps completely written out, and I will put that link in the chat as well, so that you can refer to that um, while you're doing the onboarding process. So I'm going to put this user guide in the chat that can help um, show you the step-by-step -step process um, that I just did. And I'm gonna put that right in the chat if anybody wants to refer to that also while they're, while they're loading up. But does anyone have any questions about that process of adding new users? You can either shout it out or put it in the chat. Um, if, you, if you are using your credentials that you used last year, you'll basically be seeing an update screen. The update screen will ask you, um, your child's age and their school information and whether or not they're in the picture book or program information. So I promise you if you log in with your existing credentials, you'll be you'll get it, you'll get an update screen to enroll in this year's programs. Um, and I apologize for the for the issues with that. If anyone has enrolled last year um, and they're looking to add another child to their account, I will show you how to do that as well. Um, I'm going to log in again using the credentials that I just created initially, and it will log in smoothly. Okay. And I apologize for those that, that previous issue. I really do. Um, and I'm going to look into that. But if you have your credentials, it's really easy to log in once you know them. Uh, that's the key, knowing them. So this is where all of my children's information pages are. Look in this corner where it says reader accounts. You will see the names of all of the children that you just enrolled. So I enrolled three children, Bob, Bill, Eve, in this corner right here. Um, now, if you want to log the books that they've read, you're going to click the child that you want to uh, log their information for. So I'm going to say Bob. I'm on Bob's page right now. This is his dashboard. And it, it will tell you how many points he has over the course of our program. Now, our program, you can earn up to 100 points. Once you earn 100 points, you get all the prizes, basically. Um, we have special prizes at the 50 point, 25 point levels. And we also have weekly prizes that you can come to the library to claim every week as of July 5th. Um, so as of July 5th, you can come by every week to just get a little prize for participating in summer reading. But once you get these specific point levels, you'll get a message congratulating you and telling you to come into the library to get a bigger prize. 
Now, how do you earn points? Basically by reading. Um, so for the picture book program, which I think most of your children are probably in at this age, you're gonna click blog reading. You're gonna type in the name of the book that you, you read to your child. So we'll say like the cat in the hat. And then you're gonna click the names of the readers who read it, of your kids. So let's say Bob read it. Um, Bob just, it was just Bob who read this one. If Bob and Bill read it, you'll click both of them. Um, but since it's just Bob, we're gonna click Bob and then we'll click submit. And you'll see what happens once you enter the book. It'll tell you, you've earned one point. Now for picture books, you earn one point for every book you read uh, or read to your child essentially. For the chapter book program, you, the child will earn five points for reading one chapter book. Um, and I'll show you how that logging looks like. We'll go to Eve's page. Eve currently has, it's loading, zero points, but let's log a book. Um, we're gonna say she read Charlotte's Web. We're gonna say, who read this book? Eve read this book. Again, if multiple children are reading a book, you can click multiple children. Um, so you don't have to keep retyping things. So this is an Eve's page. We're gonna click submit. All right, Eve earned five points for reading that one book. And now it says five points on her progress bar. Eve can, you now the older kids in the chapter book program can also earn more points for, re, for writing a book review. So if they click review book, we're gonna say this was Charlotte's Rev that she just read. Um, type the name of the book, how many stars she would give it, let's say it's five and she'll have to write like about two sentences. You'll need at least 200 characters. So it's about the length of like two sentences. So we can say, this is my favorite book. I highly recommend it to animal lovers. Like the ending made me cry because it's a sad book. I loved it so much, something like that. Um, it'll, say, it'll tell you how many characters you have. So I currently have 110 characters, but 300 characters are required. So you'll have to write a couple more sentences like, um, like you know, this is the best. Uh, you know, the, your child would obviously write a more detailed review. Um, it'll tell you how many characters you have right up here at this bar. So let's just, you know, copy and paste this a few times so we have, you know, all of the characters um, we need. So the review length should be about that long, like a paragraph. Once you put your review in, you'll click submit. Uh, the author is required, um, which is, you need to put the author's name in, E.B. White, okay. Um, I forgot to do that. And Eve wrote this review, we'll click submit. And Eve got 10 more points for writing that review in there. Um, the reviews are only for the older kids. The picture book program does not have review points. It's just for the older kids because um, they're engaging with books on a little bit of a higher level. Um, older kids can also earn points by coming to some of our programs. Um, we're gonna have some book clubs happening over the course of the summer. They've not all been announced yet, but once they come to those programs, they'll be given a code to enter here. Um, and they once I give them the code, they'll type it in here, click submit, and they will get more points added to their account also. So there's a lot of different ways to earn points this summer. Um, and it makes it a little bit more fun and engaging, especially for the older ones. I know I've been talking a lot. I know there were some glitches along the way. Um, does anyone have any questions so far about any of the things that I've mentioned? Anything, registering your child, logging points, um, updating your information. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you. Say I, say I have these, these are my three children logged in. Say I have an additional child that I would like, like a new child that just came into the world that I'd like to add, click account, um, and click add reader or program. And you can click um, add reader or program right here. And it will say, how old is this child? I'll say under one years old, they're super new. And I'll just write baby whatever the you know child's name is, like um, John. Um, it'll keep all of your saved password information. Um, we'll just like you initially did it before. I'm gonna turn off reviews. 
and click continue. Oh, school grade. I didn't I thought baby toddler. I forgot to enter that. Yes. So no school baby toddler because they're young. Um, and click continue. And loading there, I now I have my, my child added there. So now when you go back to your account, you'll see your fourth or your additional child added if you do need to add a reader to any of your program. Um, does anyone have any other questions about how to use this? Um, I know I had some issues with the existing user portion, but I'm going to try to um, work those out and have a separate video for that function on the website. Um, but if, as long as you log in with your existing credentials, you should be able to update that information very easily. I obviously did not have my password saved, so that's why it didn't work. Um, but as long as you have an, some account information that you can remember, which is the key, um, you're going to you're going to want to um, have all that saved. Um, yeah, so basically that's that's how to register and log information for your child. Um, as of July 5th, you can come into the library to pick up prizes. Um, there's kind of this two week period for you to just get used to the system, logging in, you know, adding your books, maybe having your kid write reviews, all of that good stuff. Um, but yeah, that's basically, that's basically, um, basically everything you need to know. Is there, are there any questions? You can just type them in the chat. You can raise your hand. Um, Looks like everybody's okay. It's, it's, Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm on a phone. Um, okay. I read somewhere that um, my child's six, but he's reading at a different level than his Absolutely. age. We yeah. should contact the library about. Absolutely. Things. Yes. Um, so you'll probably you'll be put into the picture book program automatically, but contact us, and we can move him into that older program. Um, absolutely. We totally understand. Everybody reads at different levels. The same if you have an older child, maybe they have a learning disability or some sort of, you know, learning issue. We're more than happy to put them in the picture book program. You know, these are just sort of basic guidelines that are built into the system, but we are really flexible. Um, we are really, really flexible with how, um, with what program your child's in. But yes, yeah, so we, we can move them in on the back end on our side. So just, just register them normally contact us and we'll move them into the program up there. Does that mean that if I put... Can my older kid, eight years old, read to the five-year-old? Yes, absolutely. Um, yes, and you can put those picture books on their account too. Um, yes, you definitely, they definitely can read to the, the older child can definitely read to the younger child and put, get both of those and they can both get the points for sure. Um, do we need to come in every week to pick up the kids' gifts? Yes, every, every week we will have a different prize available. Um, so yes, if you come in every week, you'll have something new to pick up. If you come in like two weeks later, we may have some of the older things available, like some of the first, like if you come in during the third week, we may have some of the first week prizes still available, um, but it's not guaranteed. It's basically, we have, we, we have bought a lot, but because of the pandemic, our numbers have kind of shifted a little bit. So it's harder to plan accordingly. So if you come in every week, you're definitely guaranteed to get every single prize. If you don't come in every week, you, it may be subject to availability, but we try, we'll try to have as many prizes available at as many times as possible. Um, yeah, that's basically, basically something we're kind of working on, but yes, the prizes will start being given, given away as of July 6th, the first week of July. Uh, yes, I see a hand up. Um, uh, S is it? I see. Yeah, that's me, Sumitra. Yeah. So my question is, um, when the older kid reads a chapter book for the younger kid, younger kid is registered in picture book, mm. older kid is um, registered in chapter book, how do we enter for both them? Like both of them cannot enter a chapter book? Yes, that's a great yeah. question. So I'll show you. Um, I'll go to, to I'll go log for, for on this page and I will click like, I'll try, I'll do like, um, I'll do, I'll put like Harry Potter in, right? Say your older kids are reading Harry Potter to the younger one. We'll put Bob and then we'll put Eve. So that's an older, that's one in the picture book, that's one in the chapter book program. Um, and then we'll click submit. So here's how it'll, it'll basically translate so that the older kid gets more points and the younger kid will get fewer points, but they will still get points essentially, if that makes sense. See Bob's account, uh, where was it? Um, I think it's still being up. 
their sentence takes a minute to load. Um, but yeah, so Bob, will, they will both get points. The younger kids will get less points for it, but they will both get points accordingly, um, if that makes sense. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, yeah, it's, you know, we're still, it's, it's, it's a fairly new system for us. We did try it out last year um, and it does offer like a little bit more than what we could offer in the past, you know, with reviews and event programming, um, and things of that nature. So we are really excited to dig in. Um, I'm also gonna put a link to our summer reading website on, on the South Plainfield website um, in the comments and then, I mean, in the chat box so that everybody can access it. Um, and this page, has links to read squared it has user guides that basically cover everything that i've gone over um it will also it also has some summer reading lists and suggestions for your kids um so there's there's a lot of good stuff to dig in there one thing i will mention if you are accessing this on a, if you're accessing the south plainfield website on your phone you might have some difficulty clicking through the links. I know that's been an issue in the past. We are aware of it. We are currently working on it. Um, so you're, it's probably easier to access things on a desktop. But if you're using your phone, let us know if there's issues also, because we want to be aware of them. And there have been some in the past. So that's a, poss a possibility. Um, I'm trying to think if there's. Any other any other questions? Um, I see, Sumitra, you have your hand up again, or is it just still up from before? Okay. Sorry, it was still up no, from before. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, um, I really I hope that you guys um, are all able to log in and able to log your books and you know have a really great um, have just like a great experience with it. I'm going to put my email also in the chat in case anyone has any questions later, things that come up, um, you know, as your work, as your, as, as you play around with the system and get more comfortable with it. Uh, it's probably the best, like, that's probably the best way to learn how to use it is by actually, you know, digging in there and playing around with it. Um, so, so you can log, you can sign up, you can log books as of now. It goes until August 20th, I believe is the last day. Um, we have some really great prizes this year. We have a lot of um, new books also that you can win as prizes, books that haven't even been published yet. I've got advanced copies of. Um, we have tote bags, we have keychains and stuffed animals, and just a lot of fun stuff for kids of all ages. Um, and I also, if you have older children, I really encourage them to use the system themselves, like let them have their login information and let them go in there and um, write their reviews and, you know, uh, log everything themselves. It's a really, you know, they're at that age where they can be a little bit more independent, some of the older ones. And I think that that's like, a, it's a cool opportunity for them. Um, we currently have like 70 people signed up. That's great, you know, and I hope you tell all of your friends, um, your kids tell all of their friends and we, you know, have, have as great a summer reading as possible given this really hard transitional year um, that we're all, you know, hopefully seeing the, the light at the end of the tunnel of this whole COVID thing. Um, I also wanted to mention, we are possibly, well, we are not possibly, we are definitely working on outdoor programs, outdoor in-person programming for children of all ages. Um, that will also start up in July, uh, the week of July 6th. Um, we are finalizing a lot of details and preparations right now, but be on the lookout for email notifications on our website for further updates on that, but we are going to try to have some outdoor story times, outdoor, outdoor crafts, games, as well as virtual programming to complement that as well. So there's something for everyone, hopefully. Yeah. Any other questions before we end? We good? Okay. Well, if anything comes up, um, you have my email address in, in the chat. Um, you can always reach out to us. You can also send us messages on Read Squared. Um, I'm constantly, there is a way to message us directly through the, through the system, but you can e email us either way is fine. Um, I hope everybody has a great day. Happy summer reading. Um, and let me know if you have any other questions.